Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's Spur video. Do we get forecast for today's Spur video? So as well as on a Saturday, we're having a look at the weather for the uh, weekend. And I should get on with that for you in a moment. Just say about the first video, say, was the 6am upload. And we've also re released the ECMWF 42 day forecast. Well, please check out those two videos if you'd like to do that. Got the 10 to 14 day with all our breaking features coming up later on this afternoon. That will include all of the latest stratospheric developments. Of course it will. Uh, right, so thank you so much to the Weather Outlook and also to our Vita for supplying uh, the charts. Thank you, thank you so much to uh, those uh, resources, those websites for supplying uh, the data. Links in the description, of course. So it's been a wet and a windy morning. <coughs> there we go. been a wet and windy morning uh, across the uh, country this morning. Being persistent about the rain. It's moving into the north. We've got lots of showers, though, following, following a lull uh, behind, especially so for England, where it's a little bit less so, actually, for Scotland. Today's toxic pressure chart looks like that. Very unsettled day. Deep area of low pressure in the Atlantic. Central pressure with that low is uh, going down to around 950 millibars, I think. So it's a very, very deep area of low pressure indeed. And that's bringing all of this wet and windy weather in across the country today. So for the rest of the afternoon, we're going to find further bands of showers pushing across the country. They'll be heavy at times. They could be hail and further mix in. And uh, in the west in particular, they will be merging into longer spells rain. Probably fewer showers for Scotland, but even there, some of those showers will push through. But for Northern Ireland, England, Wales, going to be lots of showers around this afternoon. They're blown in on the uh, strong west southwesterly wind. That wind will be gusting up to 50, 60 mile an hour around some of the Atlantic and Irish Sea coast, with inland gusts around 13, 40 miles an hour. On the plus side, though, at least it will be mild, with temperatures in the south of around uh, 8 to uh, 12 degrees. 12 is 54 in Fahrenheit. A little bit cooler further north, but even there, it's going to be relatively mild. Overnight tonight, so low pressure continues to uh, dominate the weather, so there'll be further heavy showers, longer spells of rain too, into uh, western regions. Some heavy showers in the south as well. And also across the uh, north, eastern counties will probably turn a little bit drier through the night. But even there, some of the showers will be uh, pushing through at, time, at times. In the west, it could be really quite a wet night, especially later on with uh, a little trough perhaps bringing more in way of persistent heavy rain into uh, western and southwestern regions. Temperatures will be relatively mild tonight, ranging from around, say, 3 to uh, 8 degrees. So no problems with temperatures at all. Tomorrow, Sunday, we're going to keep that area of low pressure in control and uh, we're going to bring a little trough through the country during the day. So there'll be lots of showers around uh, in the west right from the word go on uh, Sunday. Eastern areas probably get a dry and bright start, but uh, those showers will quickly be pushing through on those strong west and south west winds. And as that trough moves in, that you see through the allegation, the ice bars there, uh, we'll find a band of more persistent rain uh, pushing across England and Wales in particular during the afternoon. Some of that rain could be very heavy, possibly accompanied by hail and thunder and squally winds. Behind that, further showers will uh, be packing in. Now, the winds are going to start to shift around more to the west and northwest, so temperatures tomorrow will be colder, actually not all that far from the overnight temperatures, so ranging around 3 to 8 degrees, which isn't too far from average, really, for an early January day, but will feel colder uh, than it has done lately, especially so down in the south. And so those showers will start to turn wintry, actually, over high ground in Scotland. Now, we go through into Monday, and we're finding that area of low pressure beginning to feel and move away, leaving us in a quite a strong and cold northwesterly wind. So, uh, Sunday, you're gonna, so Monday, I should say, you'll have more showers in the morning, in particular across the whole country. But we should find many of the showers easing off across England and Wales through the afternoon with bright or sunny spells. However, northern England, northern Ireland, Scotland will keep those showers going. And they could fall to snow into quite low levels across parts of Scotland with those uh, cold west northwesterly winds um, bringing some, some cold air in from the North Atlantic. So temperatures in the north on Monday ranging from around, say, 2 to 5. Down in the south will be uh, nearer 5 to 7. Quite a chilly day. Overnight, you get this little ridge of high pressure building in ahead of the next area of low pressure, that low pressure then pushing through on Tuesday. So probably a widespread frost in the north and the east on Monday night. But uh, in the south and west, it will get chilly for a while early in the evening, but then cloud and wind rain will arrive later on in the night. So Tuesday will start mostly dry, cold, 
probably the frost across Scotland and northeastern parts of England, but Northern Ireland and the rest of England and Wales will uh, be seeing cloud and outbreaks of rain moving in early through the morning. And that wet and windy weather will steadily push northeastwards across the country through the course of the day. The rain could turn to sleet and snow as it bumps into the cold air across northern England, especially uh, across Scotland. There might even be a little bit of snow event in some parts of uh, central and northern Scotland. However, generally most of the snow will turn back to rain. And uh, just a... <coughs> Excuse me, just a thoroughly wet and windy day, really, down in the south. Temperatures on Tuesday are going to be very mild again in the south, up to around 10 to 13 degrees. 13 is 55 in Fahrenheit, but Scotland will be colder. Temperatures there ranging from around 2 to 5 degrees. Moving through to Wednesday, low pressure's in control, bringing further showers. So we'll get rid of persistent rain overnight, Tuesday to Wednesday. And then Wednesday is basically a straightforward day of sunshine and showers on a strong westerly wind. Some of the showers will burst on the spells of rain. And it could be wintry in quite low levels across some parts of central and northern Scotland. Eastern counties getting the best of the dry and bright weather. But even their showers will be uh, pushing through at time. Temperatures on Wednesday back close to average again around 3 to 8 degrees. Thursday brings the next area of low pressure in from off the Atlantic. So we may start off mostly dry and cold with maybe a frost in the door, but uh, cloud outbreaks of rain moving in from off the Atlantic quite quickly through the course of the day, and uh, some of that rain will be heavy. Again, could turn to snow as it bumps into the cold air or central and northern parts of Scotland. Temperatures in the south, probably around 9 or 10 degrees, but north, around uh, 3 to uh, 5 degrees, something like that. The area's road pressure will then move out into the North Sea on Friday, but turn us back to a colder northwesterly. So Friday will be a colder, brighter day, and sunshine and showers shall turn increasingly wintry across the northern half of the country, even to quite low levels across Scotland and over high ground through northern Ireland and northern England. Rain showers uh, further south, of course, and the temperatures again somewhere around sort of 2 to 5 in the north and around 5 to 7 or 8 further south. Bit of uncertainty about next weekend. Miss Mod, the GFS, wants to raise pressure from the southwest and bring up a milder southwest winds. Other bars are a lot more unsettled for next weekend and quite a bit colder as well with a risk of rain in the south and uh, snow further north. So I think we'll wait and see exactly what happens next weekend. Uh, right, just have a quick look at the charts. We have oh, lots of showers and lots of spells of rain today. It will be mild. Tomorrow will be a cooler day, but there'll be further heavy showers and lots of spells of rain, especially affecting England and Wales. Monday will be a rather drier, brighter day. Shower particularly in the door and wintry um, parts of Scotland. Then we're back to the mild, wet and windy weather again on Tuesday. Further showers on Wednesday into Thursday. There's more wet weather uh, wrapping through and uh, more showers on Friday. We'll start turning colder again on Friday with wintry showers up in the north. So in summary, it's going to be a very, very, very unsettled week with uh, regular bouts of wet and windy weather sweeping through. There will be some drier slots in between, but generally a really unsettled week to come. Showers are longer spells of rain, often very windy too, and uh, we'll probably find the uh, air turning a little bit colder in the northern half country today during the week with an increase in risk of snow, especially over high ground across Scotland. Uh, right, we're going to be back later on with the date of 14 days, so come back for that then. But for this week's weekend forecast, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.